Oh, I was just going to say, when Brent was comparing apples to oranges, Henry, I really don't understand it because he was comparing it to Will Smith. Will Smith is a class A celebrity. (laughs) This guy's a class F. This is a class P for Power Ranger. Like, he's not even on the list to get into, like, the club. Like, he can't. (laughs) There's access denied. And then, like, he... I really, I really want to express how much I appreciate you letting us be on your platform because the moment that everyone needs to realize is Henry doesn't have to do this. Henry, Henry is not obligated to have us on here. We no. need to check ourselves and make sure that we behave because Henry at any point could be like, hey, you know, Power Rangers isn't worth the ish. <laughs> it's- and I wouldn't blame him. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't blame if he did. Like, because Henry, you are doing what no one else would, which be telling the truth. Because let's face it, the actors aren't truthful. They're not their their counterparts to the character. They they they're human sometimes, but also they're criminal. Well, it's funny you mention that because I did I did in voice chat on Discord last night. I did show how like uh, covering Ranger content it may be good for the couple thousand people that watch, but in the grand scheme of things, if I was to put my efforts in something, something different, it'd be a lot more lucrative. So and look, uh, you have a baby mama, like <laughs> all that thing, like to be honest, like I would say I'm going to support you, whether you talk about power Rangers or not, because you seem like a genuine yeah. kind human being. And that's all I care about. You're not going to Hector me. You're I'm not going to Hector nobody. <laughs> you, like, will, you will never catch me pushing over some old person uh, mm-hmm. for anything. Uh, these people who say like, oh, it's anger issues. Life is down. They're just sweeping. Um, some people are just a piece of shit. And when- I just want to give you your props because I think you're very humble and you're going to be like super shy about it sometimes. <laughs> I'm or arrogant you're gonna as be- fuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> But like, I think that that's a good thing and it's a good quality to have because you're more Power Ranger like than any of these Power Ranger actors. Let's face it. Damn, they sorry. And the only one that I ever considered like a Power Ranger would be Jason David Frank, and he's not with us. Mm-hmm. And then before he he left this earth, I. I had comments about him and then he left and I checked myself and you said, I said, you know what? If he's gone, I can't speak on him anymore. I don't care if I like the dude or if I hated the dude. He's no longer with us. Like I, it just, you're keeping the values of a, what a power ranger should be. Brent, what the hell you got to say, man? No. What the hell, Brent? He come on. He come back looking like goddamn Michael Myers and <laughs> shit. What's up, bro? Hi, Brent. Hi. <laughs> um. Hello. Go ahead, man. You got the floor. What do you want to say? You. Oh, you have the floor. Okay. So, um, <laughs> the issue, the reason why I bring up Will Smith is not because I think that Will Smith and Hector David Jr. are even comparable in terms of celebrity. Uh, no. The reason why I brought up Will Smith is because it seems like in our society, people put celebrities on a pedestal and they have this entitled attitude that they could treat fans however they want. They feel like they're up here and the fans are and the general public are down here. But let's and, face it. Let's face it. Let's face it. You think that you have a priority because you give them money you think you have you've had a past of giving celebrities the money and thinking you have a priority over them you they don't owe you anything they will never owe you anything you're not i've never said they owe me anything um uh fairy fairy talk i never uh, that's never i've never said your actions would speak way more than your words because your actions would say hey you know sign this for me I'm going to give you all the money. If I pay for a video, I'm owed this. I'm owed that. Like you're going to, your actions speak way louder than your words. Cause you can speak all you want. Your actions at these cons have literally bit you in the butt. But when they offer a video for a service on their, their, on their board and, and, and say you could pay for this so you could record it. 
I do think there's some level of um, you are owed something in terms of that. Now, if it was for free, yes, I do think that there's a, a, a whole different discussion. But when you're paying for a specific service, um, you are entitled to that service. Um, I don't know what the issue is. The service um, does not e equate to them catering to you. I've never asked them to. Uh, Sorry, go ahead. You want them to cater. You want them to cater. You want them to cater to you. You want them to take you as priority. You like money doesn't equal friends. Money doesn't equal priority in life. Just because you have the money and you can be able to go to each con and have autographs doesn't mean you necessarily should because think about it from their perspective. If I see this man every single con and he's asking for an autograph, that would get pretty annoying no matter how much I like you. Then they should say, uh, I don't want to give you an autograph, but they're perfectly willing to um, take my money and... It's, I've never asked for anything more than what I paid for. So um, you might take issue with what I'm doing, uh, paying people for a cer for certain services. That's if you want to do that, that's your prerogative. But when they <laughs> offer certain, don't 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 put this, <laughs> don't don't reflect it onto my morals and values just because you got none. Oh, all right, all right. oh no no, but but that's but but you're the one that asking the questions. So I'm simply responding. And um Oh man. Does that feel good, Fairy Todd? You feel good about that? You got it off your chest. I don't feel good. I don't feel that bringing it up is a necessarily bad horrible thing. I'm I'm just pointing out that the pattern has been there and it's repeating and repeating. You even said, "Oh, I'm good if if I go to PMC, I might mention Henry Resilient's name." Right. Bro, guess what happened the last time you brought up his name? You want this all over again just at PMC? Like, what What do you want? Like, I don't understand. Like, it's not an issue. Howard, because I'm not going to go there and be like in your face. Oh, no, 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 no. See, um, that's not what I said. What I said was uh, people who criticize me for mentioning Henry Resilient's name and think, that's what I said. I didn't say if you choose not to do that, that's perfectly fine. But if you're going to criticize me for mentioning Henry's you name, be shocked when you have the consequences to your actions. Of course, they're going to put security. If you mention the bad guy, like use your brain. If you're going to mention the bad guy, you're going to get the consequences and you're not going to be treated the way that you want. Just by mentioning his name, we're going to disagree. As I said before, we're going to disagree all night. Uh, mentioning Henry's name is not an issue. If people take issue with it, that's their problem. And if, and if and you if, get kicked out of PMC, it, what what is the purpose what, of that, to what, mention his name? What happens if you get kicked out of PMC for mentioning my name, Brent? It'd be absolutely ridiculous, but I, um, that's, that's their, that's, they have every right to do that, are but... You gonna are you going to come back on this channel and be like, this is what happened to me. Please give me all the sympathy for two weeks. Like, I don't understand. Like, like you're going to repeat the same cycle over and over. And then it's going to be a different con, different thing, different everything. Cause it's like he said, the Brent and Henry resilient show. And it's his platform. You're using his platform. It's our Please platform guys. It's ours. We own it. So do you take issue with me mentioning Henry's name at cons? Is, is, do you personally think it's okay that people are banning me? If, if they choose to do that, is that okay? Yes. All right. Okay. Yeah. Then we're going to, we're, we're going to disagree. Okay. We're going to disagree all night. Cause I feel like mentioning anybody's name uh, shouldn't result in a ban, but okay. if that's how you feel, we're gonna just, we're gonna argue all night because I'm gonna if the conversation comes up as it has before with other people um, with Henry Resilient's name, um, we've had I've I have a conversation with many people, including intense J Jason David Frank fans who've had issues with me. We're gonna have conversation about Henry Resilient, his content. Um, if people take issue with that, then that's all right, that's their look, problem. Look. At least change the approach, bro. Please. Okay. All right. Change Thanks. the approach. There's Thanks. a way you do it. All right. Thank you, Fairy Todd. I appreciate you. Uh, stand no business. Brent, we got Drew Danger back here uh, who looks healthy and my grandma has been missing. He would like to talk to you. Uh, but as far oh, as really? uh, more phenomenal expo said they want you to come there. That was the. Oh, owner. well, that, that was the. Uh, owner. 
That was the that owner. was the owner. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. I. 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 I can't. But I. That's. I. That, I. That's very appreciative. I'm very appreciative of. Okay, Captain America, are you here to save the day? Hi. It's been a while. Hey, how's it going? That's what I do, man. That's it's, what I it's, do. It's been a while since you got to talk to Brent. You know. It has been a long time. It's my arch nemesis, like Optimus Prime and Megatron. Here we go. All right, Brent. So I have put out messages. Did you happen to see my video I made for you using action figures to demonstrate? No, but um, oh my gosh, how did I, you not see that? I did a separate whole video. I, I no, I haven't seen it. No, you missed it. Because what I did was I took a figure of you and I had a David Yost Billy figure and I went, give me autographs, give me attention, give me this, mine, mine, mine. That's what I did. And I said, you broke the sound barrier of time and attention because you secretly destroyed it yourself. Uh So what happened to him? There you go. Don't disappear yet. He's back. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to my guy, Fairy Todd, man. I'm so proud of you. You came on here and you did your thing, man, because uh, we need to straighten out some things here. Brent, there's this thing called etiquette. My favorite album of all time is called Machine Gun Etiquette, but etiquette. You need to have etiquette when you talk to people, how you approach people, because if you don't have the right etiquette, They don't want to deal with you a lot of the times. And when that happens, it makes a problem. And when that problem happens, that's how you end up getting kicked out of conventions. So why don't we work on some etiquette? Start with this. Hi, how are you? (laughs) How's your day going? Mine, it's great. Why don't we do something like this? Hey, um, I'm a big fan. I would very much like an autograph. Is that possible? Oh, okay. I have a special request. Oh, oh, wait a minute. The better time is to come back when the convention's over um, and maybe do it then? Sure. That's your time set up and I will be respectful of your time and I will come back at that time to write out a long-winded autograph about a fish that goes on for 20 minutes and I can't stop talking about it and I'm going to put on a special sweater and you're going to put on the glasses and do the whole thing. That's when you do it. So you got to have the etiquette when approaching people, Brent. You got to be kind and you got to show as well the proof of whatever it is you're doing. This goes back to that museum of intolerance. You got to show people the whole story, not just what you think, not just what you have, but the whole story. Other thing, Brent. Is you do have a sense of entitlement. You do think that people owe you something. You do think that your money speaks to you in so many ways. But what happened was at the convention, you found out that there are people that that doesn't matter to them. If they feel disrespected or something's not right, no matter how much money you're throwing at them, they will definitely make it known that they don't appreciate that. All right, Drew, let's give, give Brent a chance to respond. Go ahead, Brent. Do you feel like you're okay? Uh, to more than what I pay for, and no, absolutely not. Um, I don't know where Drew is getting that, and I believe Drew or was it Patrick, or maybe both. They were asking me to where's record David Yost when he when he asked about the walk off, and that's exactly what I did. And um, for people like Drew to say that I'm all of a sudden entitled when when Dust said that you guys are asking me to ask the tough questions. And um, now you're 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 accused, you're suggesting that I'm entitled. Um, that's that's kind of that's kind of strange. And um, how do you know that um, I didn't ask those questions? I asked David in advance. Can I ask about the walk off? Can I um, can, can I have quotes? And he said yes to all those requests. And um, if and people have told me no to uh, to quotes or video recording, I've, I asked multiple pe- uh, people if I could video record, and they say no. Um, that's fine. And then we, we keep it moving. Um, I don't know why David could have been any different. So no, do I feel entitled to what I paid for? Yes, I do. Do I feel entitled to more than um, what I paid for? Absolutely not. 
And I never ask any celebrity for a discount ever. So, um, for, especially for one autograph, I, I, I don't do that. So to say that I'm entitled, um, that's your opinion. That's your right. But I feel like, um, David, he, if he, if he would have said no to the, the quotes, no to the video, no to ask him about the walk off, I, I, I would have respected his requests. Here's and, my um, yeah, here's my take. Brent oh, is like Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy, where Drax doesn't really have that the social norms. He doesn't really have tech. He just says what's on his mind, doesn't pick up like social cues. This is Brent. OK, and you guys keep trying to change Brent. But after spending so much time with Brent, I know that he is like the character Drax. Some social cues he's just not going to pick up on. Read in the room. That's just not Brent. He's just going to come out, say how he feels, ask you the tough questions. And if you give him shit, he's just going to be like, well, this is not right. I shouldn't be getting shit because I just asked a question. So that's my opinion. How do you and you're pretending that all the questions are the are the same, like asking people about Zachary Taylor McGinnis and the representation with Galactic Productions. That is a a tough question, but it's a fair one because the business question. In my mind, you now can ask I them anything you want. If you pay them for a signature, right. ask away. Right, right. But people are pretending that I'm asking them personal questions that are outside the scope of Power Rangers, but the, especially the business side. At the same and, time, when you saw me in Orlando and I met Austin St. John, I didn't ask him no questions. Oh, right. And 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 he took note. He's like, oh, this guy talks this and. He he doesn't want to. Yeah, he, no he talks about. Yes, yeah, no question. Why I didn't ask any questions because I wanted to get the picture. The picture is the best thing ever. It's the ultimate okay. troll of Austin St. John, ultimate troll. So okay, um, that's me playing it smart. I was like, oh, all right, cool, cool, cool. Um, right, but, and people, I, I, and if if you want to do that, you're not soft. That's not no. What, I'm soft, I, when I right? said, I'm soft, right? I ain't standing. No, 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 no. I know yeah, that you're, you're allowed you're, to. You're, you're soft. Okay. No, no, no. When, when I said uh, people criticizing me for for taking a different approach and taking issue with that, that's that's what I meant. But if you choose not to be diplomatic, that's totally okay. And um, so yeah, that's what I want to say about that. So all right, five more minutes, Sean. Then I'm packing it up. I'm tired. I want you to come up with a different word than soft, because when you approach people talking about soft, you're talking to people you probably don't know their background of what they've done. And you're going to find out if you find out about some people's background of their past, they are definitely not soft people. And they definitely got more balls than you got. I never said that as a person. They were hey, soft. Hey, what? I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> you can talk when I'm done. Oh my God. You need to understand this. I gave 10 years to law enforcement. Do you know how many times I had to do oh, some man. really dangerous stuff and put my line on the line to get stuff done and make it happen to bring justice to people? I am not soft. And the people you speak about are not soft. And I guarantee you, you've never done anything like that. I guarantee you. And you need to really think about that. There are people out there that have really put their lives on the line and really done some things. And they are not soft. And for you to come out and say that they're soft, you are really messing with some people. You take it things too far, man. You need to be careful about what you say. That's what we're trying to tell you. That's what he's trying and to you say. And you need to listen to what I see. You need to listen to what I said. Um, but um, that's, I don't know if you want to do that. You just want to run with this narrative that I call people soft as, as individuals, even when I don't even know them. All, all I do know is that if you feel that ask, mentioning Henry Resilient's name and that's somehow so egregious that security needs to be called, then that's soft. <laughs> I'm sorry, because his name is not um, some word that you cannot say in public. Um, I feel like his channel is doing great things despite our deep objections on some if topics. If they don't want him there, Brent, if they don't want him there and they feel that he's made such a noise, the last person you want to mention is his is him is Henry. Sure, and, sure, sure. And if I mention his name, wanted, but if you mention his name, you have now opened up a door. They associate you with him, okay? And now you have banned yourself. He just 
You know, because they they are not. They are not on Say that you need terms to step with him. Two in that. And because you've handled yourself in that situation now, Henry is banned. Karen Ashley's in your face. Steve Cardenas wants to jump kick you in the head. Right? Right? Am I right? And David Yost wants to pull out the power lance and stick you with it. Okay? This is where you put yourself. I didn't put you there. Henry didn't put you there. You put yourself there because you mentioned that. And now you got an issue. And you got Karen Ashley's friend chasing you around. So you got, what, four people getting at you? Who did that to you? Was it me? Was it Henry? Was it Reekin? Who put you there? Tell me. And if they take issue, look, if they take issue with, if, if that's how they act because I mentioned Henry's name, that is their problem. I'm sorry. And if you guys want to agree with that behavior, we're going to argue all night. And, and I'm going to be here they're, all night. They're, 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 they're soft. Here all night. I'm going to be, be, be here all night. Wait, wait. I am going to be all over you like white on rice. Buddy. Who, who is soft, Britt? Go ahead. Name the people who is soft. Her, so, Chris, I mean, I, I think uh, her trying to take issue with me, her, that behavior is soft. Unbelievable. Christy, I mean, for her to. What about uh, Karen the, Ashley? Is Karen Ashley soft? If, if she if if because I mentioned her your name, um, that she accusing me that I'm a cigarette quality, that behavior is it's soft. It is because they need to have thicker skin. If just by mentioning someone's name, that does not make it right to act that way. Ooh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let him. Cook. I thought that was your buddy. I thought Karen Ashton was your friend. You guys going to concerts all together and enjoying each other's company and drinking nah. and sharing popcorn and all that stuff like that. You know, trying to fight off uh, to get a fan from taking Beyonce's magical glove she threw in the audience or something like that. I thought you guys were friends. What happened? Tell them. Uh, about- we were never friends. We just t- we just oh. saw each. So yeah, I mean, oh, oh well. So where were you guys if you weren't friends? Uh, just if, yeah, I mean, we weren't friends. So what the hell? She was just someone I, I saw at a con, and that's it. <laughs> really 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 so okay. how come she remembers you and she's around you and she knows who you are if she, you're just i don't know somebody yeah know at a con friend. yeah i see her at cons that's how she knew me oh now you put an s on that so you've seen her more than once right yeah so what okay. I mean. then you guys are building some sort of connection with each other and then no matter how many times you've seen each other you go to this last convention, she doesn't even want to deal with you. Tell That's me her that problem. One. That's her problem. I'm sorry. Nope, if she nope. if she nope. wants to be a Karen, and nope. just because uh, I mentioned Henry Resilient, th- that behavior from her is soft. Nope. I'm sorry. All right. So all right. just out guys. of the blue, just <laughs> out of the blue, that happens. No, you did no, because she consulted things. with no, she you consulted did things. You did some things, Brent. Come on, tell the truth. You did some things to aggravate the situation. People just don't walk up to you and go, hmm. No, you did something. You yeah, the Christie situation. She talked Same with Christie and the security guard. Same with Steve Cardenas. You did something. There's yes, yes. At, at another convention, I asked him about Zachary Taylor let McGinnis. Let exactly. You did yeah. something. Yeah, I never said that it was random. An issue. So now you got to pay for it. And now you don't want to deal with it. So, so if anybody is soft on here, it's you. No, no, no. I, no, no, no. I, um, if that Barry go boy. That's right. Okay. You stay puff marshmallow, man. You soft as soft can get. All right, y'all. All right, all right. Okay. All right, look, let's end this. Um, I think uh, I think Laura wanted to talk to Brent. We'll drop. We'll let. We'll let. We'll let Drew cool okay, off sure. for a little bit. Go ahead, Laura. What do you want to say? But there is something I do want to show you guys. Uh, my name is my name. If you know this clip, put it in the chat. Your mouth, son. You call me a punk? It was bullshit, man. You ain't need that on your mind. What the fuck you know about what I need on my mind, motherfucker? <laughs> my name was on the street. My name. Look, if my name at these kinds. And we bounce from this shit here, I'm gonna go down in them corners, let them people know. Word did not get back to me. Let them know Marlo stepped to any motherfucker, Omar, Barksdale, whoever. Right. My name is my name. <laughs> That's how I be feeling. <laughs> my name is my name. Uh, but you gotta be a certain type of person to understand that movie reference. Uh, it's actually a show, but uh, salute to you guys for dropping my name. I appreciate it. Uh, but come on, y'all got five minutes and I'm wrapping it up for real. Go ahead, Laura. Okay. Brent, I just have a question. Okay, sure. 
What did you say to David about Henry? When you walked up to the the table to ask him whatever quote that you were going to ask him. I never mentioned Henry to David, not to David. Wait, wait, wait. Let's not yell. Don't yell at me. <laughs> What exactly did you say to him? Because obviously, again, I've had an uh, experience with David Yost, and he was good to me. Um, so I'm not getting where this outburst is coming from. Is it your personality? Is it what you said? So I'm trying to figure out what happened there. What what happened? I mean, obviously, there was something that happened between when you first walked up and when you work, walked away the first time and you came back to get the second autograph, right? So what, what did you say? What happened? Okay, so uh, were you here when we did the stream? I was, but I want to okay. hear from you. Again. Yeah, I already explained it, but I'll, I'll explain it again really quickly. So um, everything was going good. Um, so when we started this, this session, I asked him, um, can I get quotes and can I uh, record, could I um, video record the entire session? And he said yes to both requests. And, and I told him, can I ask him about um, some questions? And he said yes. And then um, everything was good. And I asked him, um, at the end, can I ask you about the walk-off situation? Um, it was something that a couple of your co-former co-stars discussed. He said, yes. And then um, to give context to what I was asking, um, I showed him the fan word video and um, he gave his response. And then um, everything seemed good there. I mean, it, it was a great, honestly, it was a great, inter it, it seemed like a great um, interaction that first time. That's why I came back. Cause if it was a bad, if, if it was a bad situation, I wouldn't have come back. So um, I left and then there was a picture that dropped that um, I want to get signed. So I came back and then um, I was recording because I was like, um, it's, everything seemed fine. They're like, um, no, please don't record. I'm like, okay, sure, fine. And then I got more autographs. And then um, he, didn't, he never mentioned um, this, the issue he had one, one time. And I thought everything was good. I honestly thought everything was good. And then, um, Security approached me and um, pulled me aside, and then um, I don't I don't know if I have to explain the whole situation again, but kind of like no. they told me, yeah, you 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 know from there on. And then um, I spoke with the own both owners and one of the security guards, and they said that um, what Dave what David requests David made seem more egregious than what it was, and I and Henry has the recording from the owner, so um, if if if, if if you want to listen to it, then you can go back to the previous streams. Um, so the owners are aware of David's requests and he made it seem like he was a situation that was bigger than what it was. And they, everyone, both owners said that they should have, David should have asked me to delete it if he had an issue. And I would have, Henry might would have said, no, I, I know he said that, but I would have deleted it. And then if he would give me a refund, I, I would have accepted the refund, deleted the video and we wouldn't have this issue. But he chose to um, escalate the situation more than what it really should have been, and um, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. people and and if if David didn't want to talk about the walk up situation, he, he he would have said no, and that's just the end of it. But he agreed to it, and apparently he didn't like the answer that he gave, so he went through all of this this um, this. An escalated situation, which it shouldn't have been, because I asked um, Amy Joe about it as well, and um, it never got to this point. Um, we had a great, I video recorded her as well, and she let me keep it, and but she told me not to share it, so I'm gonna hold my word. I'm gonna keep my word with what her. The fuck, you supposed to share that yeah. shit? It's yours, bro. But anyway, no, no, no. But 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 <laughs> Henry, I keep. But when Amy Joe specifically requests to me, do not share this on social media. Oh, I'm gonna respect wilded. her. <laughs> she wallet, but. All right, Lord. She will. Y'all gonna, but, but yeah, gonna have to continue this yeah. conversation later.